Kelly, we are standing in the White Rock Park neighborhood, and there are several chain link fences like this one scattered throughout the area, so it's a small detail, but once removed, city leaders say that could bring about some big changes. And the only thing about this house I did not like was the fact that it had a chain link fence in the front. I just don't like them. After six years living with what Jean Tyse considered an eyesore, in just under two hours Saturday afternoon, her Rancho Cordova home went from this to this. I'm just thankful to have it gone. The city is also thankful since it's part of the vision of making the community better by removing one chain link fence at a time. Some of these neighborhoods are quite impacted. Um, we can have a huge impact in a place like that, raising property values, just making the neighborhood more attractive, improving quality of life. More than 600 single family homes in Rancho Cordova have these fences, but thanks to Measure H, a half cent sales tax increase approved by voters in 2014, the money is going back into neighborhoods like this one and allowing homeowners to receive up to $1,000 to remove their fence and improve their yard. What we're trying to do is get rid of those things that no longer make sense in our community and things that tend to send a signal of distress. Maybe in the late 60s, mm -hmm. early 70s, that was the thing to do and everybody got a nice shiny chain link fence, you know. After 10 years in her home, Lisa Stewart says it's out with the old, in with the new. Just because it's not attractive, there's no need to really have that kind of security anymore in this area. Breaking down barriers. I've seen the change and it's, and it's really good. <laughs> and in this case, it came at no cost. I was happy just to get reimbursed for having it taken out than to have it taken out for free. Um, damn, that's a double blessing. <laughs> And that homeowner that you just saw had the help of volunteers this weekend, so that's why her removal was actually free. But keep in mind, under the current program, the reimbursement is up to $1,000 money you can use to hire workers. For more information on all this, contact City Hall. Reporting live from Rancho Cordova, Kathy Park, KCRA 3 News. Kathy.